Welcome to the World Wrestling Circuit, also known as the Dub, where the world's best combatants across the galaxy come to body the fuck out of each other. It used to just be the Earth, but an alien showed up and we couldn't get rid of them, but we kept the name. Brand recognition, baby! Tonight's main event is between the Beefcake Emperor, the green-headed menace, the top tier that makes me want to throw myself into oncoming traffic, Z Broly! And against them, the child without supervision, the person who needs a boyfriend with her. What the fuck is a reflect? This random girl we found off the street! You think you can stand up to the demon that is the macho prowess of bro? I laugh at you, puny human. Ha! See? You see me laughing. What makes you think you have a chance of standing up against me? The god to rival gods themselves. The deity that would body the planet. The unstoppable. The unattainable. The very well-toned. Broly! You talk a mean talk, but you can't handle Broly. Broly is the cream of the crop. And the cream always rises to the top. You think you can handle me? Ha! You can't best me because the names Rick. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. Because I am the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> Let's talk about grabbing. Depending on the combat sport, grabbing is one of many options that somebody can use in order to defeat their opponent. In some sports, such as boxing, grabbing is banned, but in MMA, grabbing and putting your opponent in different holds is a vital part of the sport, and in wrestling it's basically the entire sport. It would make sense that eventually grabbing would make its way into fighting games, and it came in many different forms. The most common grab is the... grab. The standard grab is a move that basically every character can do. By pressing a specific button, or set of buttons, while near an opponent, you will use your arms, or in Dragon Ball's case, your entire body, to grab the opponent. In games ever since Street Fighter 2, uh, Edition Edition, you were able to do something referred to as teching, where if you press the same buttons that they used to grab you, you would take less or no damage and return to neutral. But there was also another kind of grab. Behold Zangief, I bestow upon thee the truest of moves a grappler could have, the command grab. Look at him fly! <laughs> Oh, that was so cool. A command grab is a variation of the normal grab that requires a motion input. For example, if you want to do Zangief's pile driver. I just realized I put pile pile driver in the script. How fucking tired was I when I wrote this? For example, if you want to do Zangief's pile driver move, you have to do a 360 motion, starting and ending in the forward position. The command grab is the center part of the grappler. But what else makes a grappler? Grapplers are generally big, slow, chonky, not very fast, scary as fuck. The entire point of a grappler is that they want to be right next to you, but they don't have many tools to get there. This means that in matchups where people have good buttons or projectiles that can keep you away, they struggle. They struggle hard. This doesn't mean they don't have tools to get in with. Some grapplers have moves that have armor and super armor on them. This means that the character will not be in hit stun if they are attacked during the startup animation, so they can still hit the opponent. Armor generally has a limited amount of hits that the character can take, whereas super armor is UNLIMITED! This combined with moves that can cause them to move forward can lead to them being able to whiff punish effectively and get into their preferred range. Which is, of course, being so close that they can smell your breath. There was something I didn't mention earlier about the command grabs as well. Unlike a regular grab, a command grab can't be teched. Now there may be a few of you who hear this and go, WHAT THE FUCK, THAT'S BULLSHIT, THAT'S SO OVERPOWERED, HOW AM I SUPPOSED TO DEAL WITH SOMETHING THAT CAN'T BE TAGGED? And I would like to politely ask you to calm down. For you see, countering a command grab is easy. Just jump. However, there may be a slight problem with this. What in God's name are you doing? Back off, you crazy bitch! Please give me huggy wuggies. Ooh. What the fuck are you saying? Pounces on you. How could this happen to me? 
Pay my mistakes. Got no hair to cut. Var, X3. What's this? A wool? Notices your bulge. <gasps> Let's have a little look to here. I wish I stayed home and played the new Call of Duty. This is so not cash money. When jumping away from the grapple, you'll be tempted to back jump to get out of their effective range. Because of this, a lot of grapplers have a way to catch people from back jumping. But if you neutral jump, you run the risk of going back into the blender and dealing with all the shit that comes with that. The solution? Bro, I don't know. Do you think I play grapplers? I got fucking rushed down monkey brain. Just find a way around it. I'm kidding, of course. We should talk about the strategies that grapplers use and how to counter them. Because the entire strat of the grapplers to hit the enemy with a strong command grab, they want to be as close to you as possible. Neutral adrenaline involves a grappler slowly, agonizingly getting closer as the enemy tries to keep them away. If you're versing a grappler, this is one strategy. Stay as far away as possible. This is generally best for Shodos and Zoners as they have the ability to keep the enemy away with projectiles and good novels. However, this isn't always an option. Let's say your character doesn't have a projectile or the enemy just gets into your effective range. Then what? You might be tempted to say back jump to create distance, but a lot of grapplers have amazing moves to counter this. Let's hold this thought for a second and look at this from a different angle. What emotion do you think this character makes you feel? Okay, and this character? And what about this one? Generally, the answer is either fear or horny, and neither of these are good for fighting games, and if you answer the second, please step away and sort that out. Fear makes you want to get away from your enemy and scramble to escape. No one wants to be close up to a Potenkin because he's terrifying! Look how big he is! Look at his command grab and strive! Look how much damage it does! Makes me want to do a fucking kickflip into a six foot deep hole and sleep for the rest of time! Because of that, you might need to learn to do the opposite of what your emotions want. Try, for instance, the forward jump. Though it can be risky as you are basically flinging yourself into the belly of the beast, the opponent is looking for a back or neutral jump, it may cause them to whip an attack, thus opening them up. Just please don't do it constantly, a bad jump can be the difference between life and death. Alright, enough for how to deal with grapplers, you came here because you wanted to be the cream of the crop. You wanted to make your enemy look like a grain of sand, and that is the fuck. You want to make your enemy look like a grain of sand that is the desert of your awesomeness. Insert another macho man reference here. Then you need to learn the art of conditioning. In fighting games, players generally use a mixture of three techniques in order to get the upper hand of their opponent. These are mix-ups, emotional influence, and conditioning. This is a gross oversimplification of all the mind games that go into fighting games, but these three strategies can generally be seen as the three main strategies that are used. Out of all three, grapplers rely on conditioning the most, while still using a bit of the other two. Conditioning is the act of causing your opponent to do something you want them to do by punishing them or rewarding them before countering them. This tactic is generally taken from psychology, where animals would do desired actions more frequently if they are rewarded with food, or be less likely to do things if they receive an electrical shock. Now I'm not saying that you should bring a taser to your local so that you can shock your opponent every time they hit you with a dirty mix-up, but you can still do conditioning in less violent ways. For example, let's say that every time you go and do an overhead, the enemy hits you with an anti-air. How do you condition them not to do that? Well, if their anti-air is unsafe on block, you could lead up to the overhead and just block the attack, then follow up with a punish. Do this enough, and the player will realise they can't just throw out that unsafe move, and you can go back to doing the overheads. But how does this apply to grapplers? Like I said earlier, people can counter your command grab by jumping. Command grabs generally have a large recovery, so people can punish you if they neutral jump. So if you go for a faster, safer, normal grab, you can punish the enemy on their way down. Do this enough times, your enemy will either begin to back jump or attempt to take a normal throw. And if that happens, well then... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So there's your basic lesson on conditioning. This isn't exclusive to grapplers, but I believe that it's the most important to grapplers. And don't worry, I'll talk about the other two techniques in later videos. I got you guys. 
And seeing as the script is twice as long as the Shoto video, I think I should wrap this up. Examples of grapplers are Zangief from Street Fighter, Potemkin from Guilty Gear, King from Tekken, Beowulf from Schoolgirls, and Set from Project L. I swear to Christ, Riot, he is the perfect grappler. Look at this! Boom! Command grab! Boom! Armor! Boom! Speed up! Boom! Suplex! He has to get in this game, right? Please, I know you're going to add the entirety of KDA. Just add him! Please, let me suplex Ari! Grapplers are big, slow badasses who will toss you around the stage without a care in the world. Though they are generally lower on the tier list, there is nothing like throwing your enemy around and conditioning them into falling into your command grabs or plucking them out of the air. If you're fine with dealing with a lot of hard matchups and tunneling on the one thing you want to do, you'll probably enjoy playing grapplers. If you want to be the cream of the crop, pick up a grappler. If you want to scare your enemies with your pure, intimidating energy, pick up a grappler. If you think I'm gonna shill like I did in the last video, then you're right. Like and subscribe, fucker. Thank you for watching, this video was a lot bigger than the shoulder one, and I'm glad I was able to finally make it. Join me next time when we talk about... Are you guys serious? You had one job, one, and you somehow managed to make these two perfectly tie. You know what, that's fine, that's fine, I have a solution to this. I gave you guys literally one job, one, and you somehow messed it up. But no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I am a reasonable man, and I have a reasonable way about going about this. Dice. There is nothing more fair and just in this world than an entire bag of just fucking D20. Just uh, there's so many dice in that bag. I have a bit of a problem. I'm gonna be honest. So we're gonna get something to roll them in. We're gonna pick a dice. I'm gonna roll it, and depending on what it is, depends what the next video is. Yeah, like I said, I have a. I have, I have too, too many dice. I got it. It's fine. 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 I really like Dungeons and Dragons. Don't worry about it. Wait. Shit. How am I gonna decide this? <gasps> I've got it. Alright, odds, rush down. Even, zone attack. But may I just say, th the majority of the people- now. <laughs> Three, two, one. That is... Eleven! Fuck! That was eleven, right? Fucking unga bunga, bitches! Uh, thank you for watching. I don't know how to end this now. Like th this was this was the thing that ended it, right? Like this this was it. This was this was it. Will people call bullshit if I don't do best out of three? Eh.